so you're the master or something of the Green School of Channeling? Actually, my mother is for now. But since that title is passed from mother to daughter, I guess I will some will be someday. But many people think your channeling isn't real. That's all just an act. You believe in us, don't you? Yeah. Because I've seen it with my own eyes. My is channeling a spirit. Not only your voice, but her whole physical appearance changes. It's a supernatural phenomenon that occurs every time. Happened this time too. Doctor Gray said that he wanted to call the nurse. So, <clears throat> Mine's body must have taken on that nurse's appearance. What exactly happened in the channeling chamber? I went into that room with Doctor Gray. Locked the door and sat down across from him. Okay. When you closed her eyes, I began channeling. This is sounding kind of creepy. The beginning of a scary story. That's the last thing I remember. What? After her spirit comes into my body, I, I lose myself in my consciousness. And you don't remember a single thing? When I came to, I was being held in my aunt's arms, and there was blood on my clothes. Mm. Oh, but I do remember having a dream. A dream? Mm, what about that dream? What kind of dream were you having when we were channeling? Mm, I can't remember it all that well, but I was dead and buried in the ground. Couldn't move and it was unbearable. Really suffocating. I mean, something like that. I. I see. Oh shit, didn't get to read the rest of that. It was a really familiar smell, too. Under the ground? I can't quite place it, but I know I've smelled that same scent before. <clears throat> I guess this is about all the information I'm going to gather for today. I'll be back later, Maya. In the meantime, please make sure you prepare it, okay? Hmm? It? What is it? A document requesting me to be your attorney, of course. What? What's wrong? Are you sure? I mean, I'm guilty. I'm a murderer. No one's decided that yet. But I did. I killed that person with these two hands. That's enough, Maya. It's hopeless. If you defend me, you'll lose, I'm sure. Stop it! Zero prep time. Alright, I'm going now. Wait! It's Jewel. It's called a Magatama. A magical charm, and it's, it's protected me. Give it to Pearlie, and I'm sure she'll lend you her spiritual powers. Magatama received from Maya. Okay. <clears throat> Let's head to the law offices first. Yep, I was sure I was going to find something here. Feels like I've been gone forever. But it's only been one day. Oh, that's right. Where's that newspaper Greg, Dr. Gray brought the other day? Right there. Ah, here it is, right on the top of my desk. It's the only thing he left behind that's going to be of any help. Clipping one added to the evidence. Okay. <clears throat> Let's head back out to Korean Village. I have to save Maya. 
no matter what. It's her life on the line. And what in the world happened in that room yesterday? Okay, let's see if we can find Pearly. Meditation room. Oh. Meditation room nurtures all mediums vulnerable. Even mediums in training, I wager. It's pretty deserted today. Probably because of the murder yesterday. Let's head the uh, windy way. Just in case she's out there. Probably a good choice. <clears throat> Well, Pearl isn't here today. She's at school. Cyber room? Oh. Was that box always there? Oh, hey! Like, you're that guy from yesterday. The, uh, dentist guy? No. No, I'm a lawyer. Ah, uh, that's right. Um, Smith Esquire? It's right. Wait, I mean, you're wrong. My name is Wright. Smith. Right. Well, I got like three letters at least. The T, the I, and the H? Okay. I don't think she gets the point. Anyway, why are you here? So, like, I study this thing called parapsychology and at this college, and... You told me about that yesterday. The Sesame RG2. What I'd, perf what I'd really like to know is why you're still here today. Oh, so, like, that's what you meant? Like, you shouldn't have been more... You should have been more, like, clear about it. Sorry. My bad. No, it's okay. Like, it's really... That's it? Why'd you stop mid-sentence? Did I? So, like, what was I talking about again? If Lada ever wanted another genuine and mysterious phenomenon, it's right here. Anything new? Okay. So, why are you still here today? Like, there's so much for me to, like, study here. Like what? Like, the medium's training, or like, how they inherit their spiritual power. Suppose? Which is the real thing, after all. So, like, if I- I asked if I could stay here for, like, a little longer. A, a little longer? She sure she, 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 she seemed- She sure seemed like she was looking for a guy! I don't know. Suddenly I went- 20s Chicago gangster on this. <clears throat> she sure seems like the carefree type, at least, on the surface. Have you heard about the murder? It's like a totally scary. She says with a silly smile, plaster all over her face. So, do you know anything about it that may help? There was a weird pause in that. Somehow I don't think she has a grip on reality. Let alone what's going on here. Uh, about the victim, Dr. Gray. I don't know who you're talking about. Like, wait, I think you asked about him, like, yesterday, too. That's right. The reaction yesterday was... I asked was... Know each other, right? Don't know any? Oh, really? It's not exactly what Doctor Gray said. Nah. Well, I. Oh, she is definitely hiding something from me. Like this? Is something around? Something tells me she is in some way involved and she's putting up a very stupid act. And she either knew 
the victim that he had killed. 